Today, I am gonna do some replication of Pinterest outfits. I haven't done this for a while. Four outfits, you're gonna need this lot here. If you wanna replicate the looks, I'm gonna say I'm pleased with them. So let's just get on with it. Let's ignore that black and white aren't my colors exactly, but black and white are very much a thing at the moment. They're very on trend, the two together. And I really do like these black mules with the, the, the sweater being in black, because then we've got the sandwich with the light wash jeans in the middle. And I'm liking the balance also of black against the light wash jeans. So I'm very comfortable in this outfit and I would very comfortably wear it out. And I'd also go for coffee as this lady has done, but I need to put sunnies on, she's got those on. Sunglasses, I am using Ray-Bans. These are similar to the ones in the picture, I believe. So there we go. Right, what does it look like? Let's see. So I like the pop of white. Let's take the glasses off so you can actually see my face, right? I see my eyes. I like the pop of white underneath the jumper. I would probably need a slightly smaller black sweater to wear with this. I like the pop of white here at the neckline. I like the very simplicity of this look. There's no fuss about it. There's not even a handbag that we can see. We can't see any jewelry either. There's no fuss about it. The accessory is the glasses. It's really sophisticated and just so simple. Coffee shop look. Perfect. So for this look, the necessity is to have a scarf, which is a similar color to the bag. This is the closest scarf I've got. I've got my Teddy Blake bag that I'm gonna be using here, which will be perfect. And that's the closest scarf that I have. However, I'm not so keen on this look on me. It's a bit too bulky. So I'd prefer to swap the scarf out for a blouse in a similar color, because we can't see the blouse in this outfit. So I would rather show the blouse and not have the scarf. So I will, first of I will show you this with a scarf because a scarf may suit you and so you might want to see the look with a scarf and I'm going to put a blouse on. My closest sunglasses this time are aviators. Right that's better much more me a lot less bulky around the neck it also now enables me to show an earring here as the lady in the picture is too so I've got a dangling earring here and uh, yeah, much more me, much more me, much simpler, less fuss around the neck. Although I have chosen to keep the theme going, I have chosen a blouse that happens to have a tie. Coincidentally, it's the right colour that will go with the bag, and it has to have, you know, has to happen, has to have, has to have, happens to have even, happens to have a tie here, so we get that scarf effect in a way, anyway. And I'm liking the double denim. I like the dark indigo jeans flared with a light top. So what's that, it's a Canadian tuxedo, is it? I like this look, I think it works. Plus my blouse being slightly beige now matches the shoes and my shoes are matching the same color as in the picture, the slightly light beige, but they're matching my blouse. I think this goes together well. If you're enjoying this video, please do remember to give me this. Thank you very much. It is making a very big difference to my channel. So thank you guys. This next look, again, it's perfect for this time of year for a cool spring day. Camel coat, very simple. We can't see the jewelry, striped blue and white shirt, but any stripe will work with this because we've got some dark indigo jeans. So that will go with any color. The camel would go with any color. So it doesn't need to be a navy striped shirt. I'm wearing one, I happen to have one. But no one's saying go out and buy a striped shirt. This is shop your closet. And white trainers, because by now, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably got your white trainers as well. So that would work too. Now the only structured bag that I have is happens to be my orange bag, so I'm gonna reuse that one. Well, I think the orange bag actually adds some vibrancy to it, because that's a pop of color. It goes really well with the indigo jeans and the camel coat. Perfect, it worked. This next outfit shows pink along with a bit of mint and some black and white as well. So I've replicated with my 41 Hawthorn blouse here, which I think is quite a good um, replication of the blouse in the picture. I need to go and put on a pink cardigan, but I would also say I'm not so keen on this mint necklace, this green necklace with the look, but I have put on one here. That is that color. Not that I have an objection to the necklace. This is several years old from Marks and Spencers. No objection to the necklace. I just don't think it's quite right bringing this color in as well, along with the pink. Now certainly in the picture, I think that necklace is far too bold, too bold in design. I'm not all that keen on that whatsoever. So I will try with this necklace, go and put the pink cardigan on, have a look, and then I may swap out the necklace. So swapping out the necklace, I think the mint, my mint necklace in with its more delicate looks better than I thought. It looks better than certainly the big bold design necklace that was in the picture. So I'm much more comfortable with that. And I think the mint with the pink cardigan is a casual look. Whereas if we take out the mint and just go for a delicate gold neck colored necklace, 
such as this one, I think it's a much smarter look. So you've got options there with this kind of outfit. And we're still in March as I'm recording this. I am still wearing my March capsule. If you want to see what I'm wearing today as an outfit of five for your little portfolio of pictures and storing away, let me show you. So today it is a mustardy blouse, a mustard cardigan and some grey jeans which weren't in my capsule. These are housework jeans, that's the type of thing I was doing today but I did have to pop out the house. I put on a top and cardigan from my capsule wardrobe. A little bit of jewellery, earrings, necklace and I was done. I did add a pop of red with the belt, uh, you know, because I was going for this colour combinations in March wasn't I trying out yellows and pinks with red and pinks and yellows and that sort of thing so yeah pop there and I added when I went out I used my reflow boots my big bulky reflow boots and I think it really worked well I like how they all turned out and I don't know about you but I'm storing them away for outfits that I can certainly wear and replicate and take out of the house as, as I'm walking by everyone's so quiet Watch your guy yourself in